टू कैपमैन अकेडमी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्रोमोजोम वॉकिंग राइट सो क्रोमोजोम वॉकिंग इट इज अ मैथड ऑफ पोजिशनल क्लोनिंग इन द जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग एंड इट इज यूज टू फाइंड आइसोलेट एंड क्लोन अ पर्टिकुलर जीन और अलील in a gene library to find its function in the genome right and this type of strategy in the genetic engineering it is known as reverse genetics in which we first locate the gene clone it and then further find out its function so this technique is first used in 19 86 and the first gene which is identified was in humans for the disease known as chronic granulomatous disease right and this positional cloning is actually done by using the overlapping fragments over lapping fragments so these fragments were actually cloned into the large capacity vectors and then further they were repeatedly sequenced and then move on to the target gene right as you can see in this image so to perform the chromosome walking we first know a region which is used as molecular marker region and it should be near to your target dna region right and then from here we will start our chromosome walking journey by using the overlapping fragments repeatedly until we reach our target dna location right so by doing this by using the chromosome walking we can actually identify our desired location desired location of the gene or we can identify a mutant gene location which is responsible for a particular disease right so this is a strategy for the chromosome walking now let's discuss about its disadvantages so the disadvantages here is that we have to do multiple cloning repeated cloning in this one so cloning here is very complex cloning cloning is very much complex here right and by doing so many colony it is also very time consuming technique consuming technique and this one chromosome walking it varies species two species right and if the markers are too far from your target gene then it is going to be very much difficult so your molecular marker they should be near to your target gene as much as they can right and for this one we need large capacity vector for example bacterial artificial chromosome cloning vector right so the basically the chromosome walking technique it is used for the analysis of genetically genetically transmitted diseases to look for particular type of mutations and especially it is done for the snps identification which are single nucleotide polymorphism right so as you again see in this image in which we actually locate our gene of interest from a point where we know the sequence and then we move on to that gene of interest by using the overlapping sequences and this particular technique is called chromosome walking right and the loca location or locating the gene of interest it is called 
positional cloning. Right, so that's all for the today. Thank you.